Hey babes, today we'll be doing my current go-to favorite back and biceps workout. If you're looking for a workout that will demolish and destroy your upper body, this one is the one. Full written workout will be in the description along with the link to my full upper body day warm-up tutorial. Click that thumbs up button if you're up for the challenge and let's get right into it. First up, we have a superset, which is two exercises performed one right after the other, followed by a rest time. The first exercise in the superset is wide grip lat pull downs for four working sets of 10 reps at 2 RIR, followed by cable bicep curls for 15 reps at 1 RIR. RIR stands for reps in reserve. This is the number of reps you should be able to perform after a set of an exercise. For example, when performing the lat pull downs at four sets of 10 reps at 2 RIR, that means that by the end of the 10 reps of each set, you want to be able to do only two more reps and nothing more than that. If you could easily do three or more reps with good form, increase the weight. Wide grip lat pull downs will target the back muscles, specifically the lats. To target the lats best, imagine pointing your elbows straight down to the ground and into the sides of your back as you pull the bar down. Only pull the bar down to right under your chin to right above your chest, keep your shoulders down and depressed throughout the entire movement, and avoid hunching your shoulders up to your ears. As you contract your back muscles to pull the weight down, exhale, and as you extend your arms back up, inhale. For the cable bicep curls, keep your arms tucked into the sides of your body at all times to best isolate and engage the bicep muscles. Make sure to use a full range of motion and allow the contraction of your biceps to power the movement. We'll be doing 15 reps per set at 1 RIR, so be sure to increase the weight if you feel like you could easily do 2 or more reps after completing a set. Exhale to contract your biceps to lift the weight up and inhale as you lower your hands back down. After doing 10 reps of the wide grip lat pull downs and then 15 reps of cable bicep curls right after, rest for 2 minutes or as long as needed before repeating the superset again for a total of four times. Following we'll be doing a tri-set, three exercises done back to back followed by a rest time. The first exercise will be seated cable rows performed in a pyramid set. This exercise will target your overall back muscles with a little bit of biceps. When doing these, keep a small bend in your knees at all times. Starting with your upper body bent forward at the hips and arms extended out in front of you, contract your back muscles to bring the handles towards your chest, sweeping the insides of your biceps against the sides of your body as you do so. Keep your spine in a neutral position at all times and as you pull the weight towards you, avoid using your body weight to lean back. Instead, really allow the contraction of your back muscles to power the movement. Also avoid hunching your shoulders forward and up to your ears. Move your body in one fluid movement with your booty in the same spot on the bench at all times. Exhale as you pull back and inhale as you extend your arms back out. This pyramid set for the seated cable rows will consist of three smaller sets. The first using a lighter weight for 10 reps, increasing the weight and doing 8 reps, and then increasing the weight again for another 6 reps. Follow this immediately after with the straight arm push downs for 10 reps at 2 RIR. Straight arm push downs will target the lat muscles. To best target your lats, I like to use a straight bar attachment like the one that I have here, but feel free to use whatever you have available to you. Stand back far enough so that the cable essentially draws a parallel line with your back as you push your arms down. Keep your arms in the same position at all times with elbows slightly bent, but avoid bending your elbows in order to bring the weight down. Imagine your back muscles powering the movement and contracting in order to push the weight down. Exhale as you bring your hands down to your legs and inhale as you bring your arms back out above your head. My whole entire outfit is from Honor Active. I was wearing the classic varsity oversized lightweight t-shirt previously in the color minky size medium over my sports bra, but I'm now just wearing the effortless strappy bralette and effortless leggings both in a size medium color wash cool brown. As many of you guys know, the effortless leggings are my favorite in the entire world and no leggings could ever even come close. I just posted a mini review on the brand new effortless strappy bralettes on my Instagram feed, so be sure to check that out if you want the full rundown. Make sure to shop through my link that I have in the description and pinned comment to support your girl and let honor know that i sent you thank you guys for your love and support right after your 10 reps of straight arm push downs we're gonna do static hold dumbbell curls for 12 reps per arm at one rir simply hold one dumbbell up like you're in the middle of doing a bicep curl while the other arm does 10 curls once you do 10 reps on one arm switch arms keeping your arms flush to the sides of your body to help isolate those biceps exhale to contract your biceps to lift the dumbbell up and inhale as you lower it back down Take a two minute rest afterwards before repeating the tricep again. Also, I only performed the seated cable rows for three of the four rounds since we do so many sets of them for the pyramid set already. So for the fourth and final round, I just superset the straight arm pushdowns with the static hold dumbbell curls. 
Coming up, we have another superset. The first exercise in the superset will be single arm bent over dumbbell rows for four sets of 10 reps per arm at a one RIR. These will also target the back muscles. Make sure to extend your arm all the way down between each rep and sweep the insides of your bicep against the side of your body as you pull the dumbbell up. Point your elbow straight behind you instead of out to the side as you bring the weight towards your chest. Your hand should start directly underneath your shoulder as you begin and then end by the side of your ribcage. Avoid hunching your shoulders up and allow your back muscles to feel the movement. Exhale as you contract your back muscles to bring the dumbbell towards you and inhale as you lower the dumbbell back down. The second exercise in the superset are spider curls, which we will do for four sets of 12 reps at one RIR. Position the back of the bench at 30 degrees and lay your upper body flat against it with feet planted firmly on the ground. Starting with arms hanging by your sides, contract your biceps to lift the dumbbells up towards you. Exhale as you lift the weight up and inhale as you lower your arms back down. Positioning yourself against a bench like this helps to minimize your body swaying so that you can better engage your biceps and allow them to power the movement. Rest for two minutes between each round of the superset. To finish this workout up, we're going to demolish our biceps with 21s for three sets. These are called 21s because each set is made up of 21 reps. For the first seven reps, perform them using only half the range of motion you normally would use at the bottom of your normal bicep curl movement. For the next seven reps, do them at the top of your normal bicep curl range of motion. And for the final seven reps, do a full seven reps with a full range of motion. Rest for one to two minutes between each round of 21s and make sure to use a weight that you can do till you hit failure for this exercise. And that's today's entire workout guys. This one is one that I always enjoy doing that I know will always be fun and challenging for me. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. Let me know if you try it and how you like it and if you have any other video requests for me down in a comment below. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by today. I truly appreciate your time and energy. Have an amazing weekend and I'll talk to you guys soon.